And good evening. Narcan has saved the lives of people who've overdosed while using heroin. Some organizations handed it out free of charge, but a local program that supplies the drug has run out, and organizers don't know when they'll be able to buy more. And Jeanette Levy joins us with why the group doesn't have any more of the drug. And Jeanette? Sydney, the short answer is money. The Cincinnati Exchange Project is a program that aims to help heroin addicts. The project allows addicts to exchange a dirty needle for a clean one in the hope of stopping the spread of diseases. While the project does focus on the needle exchange, there's another goal, keeping addicts alive in order to get them into treatment. One way the needle exchange does that is by providing Narcan kits, similar to the one you're looking at now. Narcan reverses a heroin overdose. The people who run the project handed out their last kit yesterday. They don't know when they'll be able to afford to buy more. They're incredibly important because they keep people alive and they also help keep people have a sense of value for themselves. They are taking care of their own community. They're able to be active in their own health care. I can't treat anyone who's dead. So we have to save the lives of all of these poor individuals who are suffering from this addiction and you know get them to the point where they get, get into a treatment center. Now, Dr. Sean Ryan, from whom you just heard, he runs Brightview. That's an outpatient treatment center in Norwood. When we spoke with him tonight, he said he plans to reach out to the needle exchange program operators to see if he can help them. Those operators are also going to try to find some grants to apply for so they can get some more money to buy the Narcan. Sydney? All right. Thanks, Anjanette. If you'd like to learn more about the needle exchange or see the hours and locations where it operates, go to local12.com and click on the Get It tab under the News section.